Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So today we're going to talk about fuzzing badge values. This is going to be a post-exploitation. You already have access to the building. You found a door that you don't have access to, but you have a valid card number already. And that's how you got in the building or you cloned one off of somebody's desk. So once we have this and we got to a door we didn't have access to, we can then set up a fuzzing attack and try to guess a value that will let us into the door of an employee that actually does have access. Now this is a loud attack. It's gonna make a lot of beeping noises. You might wanna do it after hours when nobody's around, or you might wanna have some really good social engineering game to explain why there's all this beeping going on and why you're standing there. But with that said, it can be successful attack and it can get you access to what you need if you need to do some privilege escalation. So in order to do this attack, we are gonna to go to the Flipper website and you're going to open up apps and connect your Flipper and then into the RFID section, you're going to install the RFID fuzzer. Once you install this, you should be good to go. So I'm gonna flip over to another video and we're gonna run through the attack scenario and show you exactly how to do it step by step. So we've broken into this building. We used our stealth reader like we did in one of our previous videos, someone walked up, they tagged in and we took our prox mark and we have a legitimate badge. Or we broke in via tailgating, we picked up a badge and we scanned one from the desk. Either way, we're inside the building already. We're walking around and we find this door that might be the server door. We try to get access, but it says, hey, you are denied. But we already have a card number that's valid within the organization. So we're going to assume that that card number is somewhere in the vicinity of a legitimate user who can get inside of this door. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our flipper and we're going to put our card number under the flipper. So here's our card and it's under our flipper. And we're going to go to the low frequency reader and we're going to hit read. So I have the values here, it's 2A, 3F, 3, 4, facility code 42, so those are the hex values. I'm going to save this in here, and it says it's going to be forgotten access. You can name it whatever you want, you can name it external door, something like that. So that gives us external access into the internal side of the facility, but not access to that door. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hop out of here and we're gonna go to the RFID fuzzer that we installed. That is going to be under apps. I'm going to scroll down to RFID and we're going to open this guy up. So once we open up this, you can manually change stuff, etc. But what we're going to do is we're going to load file because we want a base value that's similar to what might be a legitimate value. And that's the one we already scanned in from a legitimate badge. So we can't forgotten access. And here are our values, 2A, 3F, 3, 4. So what we can do is we can fuzz this last number here. And hopefully, as we fuzz this, we get a legitimate employee badge number that gets access to this door. So we could use a little logic and say, oh, you know, maybe it starts out at 30 if that's where the cards start, or 0001, etc. So you could play around with this depending on what you want to do. We're just going to start right here. And I'm going to pull this over so you can see it better and see it changing, granted or denied. And then I'm going to take the flipper and put it on here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit attack. And now once we hit start, we're gonna see this 35 going up and you should see access denied until it hits the correct card number. Once it hits a correct card number, we will get an access granted. We can open up this door. So let's do that. Denied. And then after a few tries, we got granted. Now, will it be this easy? Probably not. You might have to try 100 tries. Really depends how lucky you get, but it can work as an attack. It is a bit noisy. But now that we have an access granted, you're gonna see the green light up here on a regular reader turn green. Open up the door. You can enter into that server room. And now that you're in that server room, you can get done whatever your other goals are. Maybe you were trying to install an implant into a server. Maybe you were leaving a business card. Maybe you had to call the client once you got access to that server room or the CEO's desk or whatever it is that you need to get access to. Continue on with your pen test and this is just another attack vector you can use if you have some solid social engineering or the timing to make this work. 
So hopefully this was useful to you. If it was, hit a like, hit a subscribe, and I will catch you later.